This video, I'm gonna very quickly show you the difference between walking a dog on a harness and a prong collar. Right now, this is Mary Jane. She's a very reactive dog, and although she's somewhat behaving, she's still out in front of me. She's lunging, she's pulling me down the sidewalk. This is absolutely not how I wanna walk a dog because she has full range to do something silly, or if another dog walks up, anything could happen. I have zero control over her. This harness gives me no way to communicate to her. That is not where I want you to be. I always want my dog at my knee, if not behind me. With her out in front, this isn't relaxing for her. This is actually a stressful walk because she is so overstimulated. She's trying to figure out what she's doing, where she's going, if she's gonna reach out and lunge or bite or do anything crazy, she's got the ability to do that. So right now I'm gonna put a Herm Springer pinch collar on her. And she's had this on her, I put it on her a few minutes ago, so I've already taught her what it feels like, which only takes about 30 seconds to do, so you can see that in another video. This is simply just gonna show you the difference between a dog out in front of you and what the difference is with her on a Herm Springer right next to me and how I communicate to her, nope, I don't want you to do that. If she starts to go out in front of me, I'm gonna give her a slight correction with my wrist and I'll point that out when that happens. If any kind of nonsense happens, I'm just gonna communicate to her through this collar with a little flick of my wrist like I did right there. Watch, cut. yep, right there. Just let her know, nope, I don't want you out there in front of me. Right next to me is where you need to be. So watch my leash. There's no tension in that leash. You can see how it kind of dips down right next to the, um, to the clasp. There's no tension in that collar. That is complete slack in that leash. The only time you see tension, I give a little flick of my wrist to put her back next to me, maybe a little bit behind me, and I tell her no. That's the only time you see that any kind of tension in that collar. This is the best way to walk any kind of dog. Now she's right next to me. She knows she's understanding that I'm the one in charge. You don't need to do any kind of marking, sniffing, lunging, barking, anything. We're outside of the dog park right now. So I just want her to be a dog. I want her to be relaxed. I want her to have exercise. And I'm gonna be the one in front letting her know what we're doing and where we're going. And I know a lot of people say, I want my dog to have, you know, to be able to sniff and do all that stuff. And that's fine. She can do that. Your dog can do that. But not yet. She's got to earn that privilege. So for the next several weeks, we're going to do structured walks like this. So she understands when other dogs and people come around, you don't get, you don't need to go out there and just charge them. Like right now, a couple dogs are going to walk by. So I'm putting her in a sit and I'm just letting her know you can look, but don't you hone in. You can look, don't you lunge. This is just a relaxed, structured walk. So that's how you walk a dog on a prong collar. And uh, that's why we do not, do not use harnesses for walking, simply just exercise because there is not a way to communicate with them.